Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Hello, Mrs. Turnbull. How are you? Fine, thanks. How's your boy, Jack? He's a bit tired. You know, he goes to school at 8 o'clock every morning. He doesn't get home till after 4. Then he does his homework after tea. It often takes him a couple of hours to finish. Poor boy. They work hard at school nowadays, don't they? Does he like it? School, you mean? Yes, he does. He likes his teachers, and that always makes difference. Yes, it does. Does he go to school by bus? No, he walks. He likes walking. He meets some of his friends at the corner another go together. What does he do when it rains? My husband takes him in the car. He passes the school on the way to the office. How have you been? Fine, thank you. And how's everyone in your family? Very well, thank you. I'm meeting my wife and daughter for lunch at 12 o'clock. Would you care to join us? I'd love to but I'm afraid I can't. I've already got a lunch engagement. Is there a lot of crime in your city? There's some, but I don't think it's a big problem. A lot of it is petty crime, burglary and car theft. There's very little major crime. It's the same in my city. We also have a lot of drug addicts. A lot of the crime is committed by drug addicts who need money for drugs. That happens in many places. In my city, there is a very good drug rehabilitation program. The police and courts are also tough on people who commit crimes, but I don't know if that's the reason for our relatively low crime rate. Some people believe that a tough approach is better. Other prefer a more lenient approach. I think that the best way to reduce crime is to spread wealth more evenly. If most people have similar amounts of money, they will not think of stealing from others. That's possible, but I'm not sure it would really happen like that. I work so hard that I do not have the energy to exercise. That is just an excuse. You can always find some time to exercise. But I work hard all the time for long hours. Often I have no time for lunch. Yet, I am still getting fatter. Bill, you know that work is not the same as exercise as it is stressful but not relaxing. And skipping meals will not help you lose weight. In fact your body will only store fat if you miss meals. I know you're right, but what can I do? How about going for a walk instead of sitting on the sofa reading the newspaper after dinner every night? But I'll miss the news. It's important in my business to keep up with events in China. I know, I know. Have you got a portable radio? You can listen to the news and get healthy at the same time. That's a good idea. I don't know about you, but I'm famished. Are you interested in getting a bite to eat? That sounds great. I'm absolutely starving. What kind of food are you in the mood for? I'd love something spicy. Maybe we could get some Sichuan hot pot. You're a woman after my own heart. I don't know many people who can handle spicy food. Are you sure you are up for hot pot? Sure. If I could, I would eat hot pot every day. Okay. You're really all eyes when it comes to talking about food, aren't you? Well, let's stop dragging our feet and find a Sichuan hot pot restaurant for dinner. 
Let me think about it for a minute. Let's see oh the name of the restaurant is on the tip of my tongue. Give me a second and it'll come to me. Well, have you thought of it yet? No. Never mind. There's an authentic tasting hotpot restaurant not far from the China World Trade Towers on Chang'an Street. Have you been there? That's it. That's the one I was thinking of. I told you I'd remember it. You really have a bid head, don't you? I met Mark yesterday. He looked blue. He's been on the gravy train these years, hasn't he? It belongs to the past. He lost his job the other day, and he's up a tree now. It seems that nobody can always expect things to pan out well each time. May I know who's calling? Hello. This is David. Glad to hear your voice, David. Hello, Mr. Brown. Long time no see. Where have you been? Oh, I went on a holiday in the city of Chende. Great. What do you think of it? The city is small, not very modern, but there are many mountains with lots of trees around the city, so the air there is pretty fresh. Did you go to the Summer Mountain Resort? Certainly. The most attractive place is that, it's very large. It is eight times the size of Forbidden City and sixteen times the size of Summer Palace. The art of gardens is perfectly represented in it. It sounds great, and is it really cool there? Yes, I think the reason is that there is a big lake, and many trees in the resort. What is the special local product? The main product of Chende is various kinds of ferine mushroom and the almond. The mushroom tastes really good, and it is very different from the common mushrooms, and the snack made of almond is delicious. I hope to go there someday. How wonderful it is to be in love. It's love at first sight. Oh, he's my Romeo. Hey, Julie, how's it going? Oh, Mary, you've surprised me. Who were you talking to? Um, I was just thinking aloud. You look so happy. I see a twinkle in your eyes. Come off it, Mary. Oh, you have a crush on someone, don't you? Maybe those are wedding bells in your eyes. You certainly do like teasing me, Mary. Well, I'm in love with someone. The question is, how do I get his attention? Well, that's easy. Walk up to him and kiss him. I guess I asked the wrong person. Have you heard of Paul? No. What? He's got a promotion. You're kidding. No, they made him vice president in charge of cells. Oh, I don't believe it. He is only being with the company for two years. Well, it's true. The board man last thirdly and they choice Paul. Well, good for him. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Watch out. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Oh, I don't know. I feel terrible. I really didn't mean to knock you over. My tire just exploded, and I lost control of my bike. Really, it was an accident. Please accept my apologies. Oh, wait a second. You seem really familiar. I think I know you from somewhere. Yeah, I think we have met somewhere before. That's right. We met at Aaron's place last weekend. 
What a coincidence. But anyway, I'm glad to see that you're not too badly hurt, and I should probably get going. I have a nine o'clock meeting. Ouch. My ankle. I think it's broken. You can't just leave me like this. Are you calling an ambulance? Nope. I'm canceling my appointment so that I can stay here with you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.